What's up traders? In this video, I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about support or resistance or supply and demand. How to identify a major support or resistance? What are the types of support or resistance? How to predict a breakout of support or resistance and how to trade them with high risk to reward ratio. Now this video is going to be super important for you because the information I'm about to present here you may not find anywhere. So make sure you watch till the end. This one video may change your whole pattern of trading. If this is something interesting to you then smash the like button for me and also don't forget to subscribe because there is a lot of content in this channel including live analysis and strategies that will change the way you trade. With that said, let's straight jump on trade. Okay, so first let's see what is support and resistance. So let's see this analogy here. Okay, consider this is a ball, tennis ball. Okay, and this is the ceiling of a room or house and this is the floor of a room or house. Now, if you bounce this tennis ball or throw this tennis ball on this floor, what will happen? The ball will bounce here and from here, it will just bounce to the upside, to the ceiling. And if the ceiling is strong enough, then what will happen? The ball will come back to the floor, will go back to the ceiling. So that's how it will bounce up and down. Now, if you consider this tennis ball as the price, okay? Now the price behave almost the similar way as this tennis ball. Now this ceiling, that is what we can say that resistance, resistance or supply zone. And this floor that we can say that support or demand zone okay so these are the basic concepts of support and resistance now if this tennis ball or the price able to break this ceiling or resistance then what will happen the ball will be here right so what will happen when the ball will be here if it breaks above then this resistance or the ceiling will act as a floor or a support for this ball in that case the ball will start to bounce up and down in another level and the price do the same way if the price able to break any kind of resistance or ceiling then the, this resistance act as a support now these are the basic concepts of support and resistance now let's see how to identify a level of support or resistance before identifying support or resistance remember support or resistance is not a single line it is always a zone so this zone you can consider as a thick line or as a zone now when you see an instrument is behaving something like this okay that is where the support or resistance is formed now remember to draw a support or resistance you need at least two points now consider that the price is here and then drop to this level went above okay and then again drop to this level and then started to draw rise up again so because there has been the price already bounced from here came back again and then again bounced from here to the upside then we can draw a level of support or a support zone in this area now when you see that the price already bounced from here then what will happen when the price will come back again it is highly likely that this price will bounce again and that is where the support comes in so when that means that in the past if the price bounced up from a certain zone or certain level that creates a level of support 
Now, why do you need to know support or resistance? Let me give you one example. Say for example, if the price is here, okay, just a dot like a price and the price is here. Now, if I ask say 100 people that which way this price will be heading this way or that way. Now, it will be ending up that almost 50 people will say that this price will go up. 50 people will say that this price will go down because everyone is guessing. When it is guessing, when it comes to big number of people, that 50 people will say, 50% will say up, 50% will say down. But when the price is here, if I ask 100 people that which way the price will be going, maybe you'll see that around 70 people will say that the price, this price will go up. Around 30 people will say that this price will go down. Now, this is the difference between trading and gambling. So this is gambling that you are just guessing by luck. And this is trading. Now, why 70 people think that this price will go up? Because in the past, from the same zone, people bought and the price went up. But from because in the past it happened, that it is likely to happen again. And that is when the support and resistance comes in. And that's why trading from a level of support and resistance is the only way to make profit from this market. There is no other way because the only way you can keep an edge over the market when you buy from an area of value or from an area of support and resistance. I think that now it's clear to you what is support and resistance. Now let's discuss what are the types of support and resistance. So there are mainly three kinds of support and resistance. The first type we can say that horizontal support and resistance. So what is a horizontal support and resistance? When you see our price is creating something like this, you know, equal high, and then you can draw a level of resistance here connecting all these points. And you can draw a level of support here connecting all these points. So because this is a horizontally moving this level of support and the price is bouncing almost from the same level. That is what we can say that horizontal support or resistance. So horizontal support and horizontal resistance. The second kind of support and resistance is inclined support and resistance. So what does it mean? When in instrument you see that creating something like this going along a channel or moving in an angle, creating a level of resistance like this and level of support in this manner. So if you draw a level of resistance in this way and level of support in this way, then we can say that this is an inclined level of support or resistance. The third kind of support or resistance is dynamic support and resistance. So when you see an instrument moving in a dynamic way, that means the support and resistance is not a straight, then we can consider it as a dynamic support and resistance. So there are basically two kinds of dynamic support and resistance. The first kind is when you see an instrument is moving something like this. Okay? So something like this, like uh, circular way. This is the most common market structure you can see in a consolidation. So what happened that every time the price is respecting a certain support and resistance in, a, in moving in a parabolic or circular way. So if you draw connecting all this line and draw this level of resistance or in case of support, something like this. So in that case, you can say that this is a dynamic support or resistance. This is the first kind of dynamic support or resistance. Another dynamic support or resistance is by moving average. So what do I mean by moving average? So when you see an instrument respecting a moving average, a 20 period moving average. So if you see that an instrument is trending something like this, say creating a higher high and higher low, and then 
if you see that this instrument is respecting say this trend line the price is moving to this 20 period trend line so the, if this is a 20 EMA okay TN 20 EMA and the price is moving up and then dropping to the 20 EMA again bouncing and then again dropping to the 20 EMA and again bouncing again dropping to the 20 EMA now it may not be exactly something like this you might see something like this you know something like this whatever if it is respecting this a certain kind of moving averages like say 20 EMA then we can say that this 20 EMA is a dynamic support or resistance so in case of in case of uptrend this moving average can act as a dynamic support in case of downtrend you know if you see the downtrend then this moving average can act as a dynamic level of resistance so these are the main kind of support and resistance okay so now let's learn about how to predict a support or resistance breakout okay so if you want to trade a support or resistance the first thing you need to understand is either this support or resistance will be held or it will be broken because if a resistance is held that means that you will be selling from the resistance if you think that this resistance will be broken then you have to wait for a breakout and then you will open a buy opportunity now to predict a breakout of a support or resistance you need to keep two important key points in your mind so the first key is remember the major direction of the trend the second key point is structure okay so first let's see the major trend direction what do i mean by this now what say for example you are seeing an instrument is creating level of support something like this okay now this is a level of support right now this support will be held or will be broken will depends on which way the major direction is you see that this consolidation is a piece of puzzle if you see the whole bigger picture you see that the, before this consolidation there has been a trend now which way this trend is if you see zoom in the chart and see the overall picture then what you will see that you might see that this instrument is creating something like this okay so what happened the major direction of the trend is down so when you see the major direction of the trend is down that means that highly likely that this level of support will be broken to the downside okay this is one important key point the price always is likely to break to the direction of the major trend the second key point is a structure so what do we mean by this say for example you saw the major direction of the trend is down now the structure how this structure is being made now look at the this support what you see that the price is coming to the same point all the time but look at the top of this candle what you see that the price is creating a lower high so when you see a lower high on a level of support it's highly likely that this support once will be broken now if you predict that this support is broken due to the market structure and the major trend then definitely you will be waiting for a breakout so that you can trade it now remember never try to print break out now remember do not trade as soon as the breakout happened because more often so when you understand that this support might be broken the best way to trade is after the breakout now do not try to trade as soon as the breakout happened because more often or not you see that this break this breakout might be a false breakout now this is the reason why most retail traders lose money because as soon they are very very impatient as soon as the breakout happened they started to jump on a trade they said okay well there is a breakout let's sell everything let's sell the house car you know whatever i have and then all this money 
taking one trade because it's a breakout i'm gonna reach overnight then you will be losing money you have to wait for a retest now i will show you later what is a retest first let's stick to the point of support or resistance breakout now this is one way to predict the support breakout now what about the resistance the same thing so if you see that an instrument let's show. so if you see that uh, instrument is creating something like this okay what you see there is a level of resistance okay resistance the points created level of resistance and every time the price is creating a higher low that means that it is putting a pressure on the resistance now this is one confluence of structure what is the another confluence looking at the major trend now if you see that the major trend is something like this so the price was going from this direction the major trend is up then highly likely that this instrument will break to the upside okay now the next thing is if you see the that resistance is broken then how do you trade now the only way the best way to trade that i do and i recommend everyone to do is on the retest because whenever a resistance is broken it is highly likely that this instrument will come back here to test this resistance as a support like the way that i told you when the ball is broken it will act as a floor before it was a ceiling the same way it will act as a support here resistance tested as a support now how do you know that it is tested now from the market structure so when the price will come here it will create a market structure something like this say for example creating a double bottom or a inverted head and shoulder or giving you a nice looking shooting star in this zone and created a market structure like this then you can predict that this instrument will be healthy now how do you know that it is likely to be a false breakout in most cases when it is broken if it is a false breakout then what you see that the price went with a big candle and the next one immediately went back and closed back below that means that this is a false breakout but when you see that the, the instrument broke this level okay so broke this level went up and for the retracement it was creating a smaller candle and coming to test this level in that case it is highly likely that this instrument will test this as a support and then will start to move up so this is how you can predict and trade breakout now what if you think that this support or resistance will be held and then how can you trade now if you see that the instrument is doing something like this okay now after this you see that it is here and whatever the direction of the trend but you think that there is no no higher low or lower high then what you can say that this instrument likely to bounce back again you can't guess when the price is here you need to see how this price is behaving or reacting with this level of resistance if you see that say for example it went up with a big candle and then came back below creating a false breakout that means that highly likely that this will go down again on the other hand if you see that this instrument came here and created a reversal pattern say for example came here created a double top okay then that means that this is a reversal pattern on a level of resistance then we can say that this instrument will likely to drop so these are the ways when you see that on a resistance created a double top or created a false breakout you can say that this resistance will be holding or maybe a head and shoulder in this area like this then you can say that this resistance will be holding and then you can trade from this level of resistance now these are the ways you can trade a support or resistance with high risk to reward remember when you are trading level of resistance or level of support this is the most profitable way to trade because you can keep your stop loss tight just below the resistance and then you can keep at least one to two or more risk to reward ratio now before i jump onto the chart 
let me recap so far what we have learned so what we have learned so far is when the price bounced off a certain level for a certain period of time we can say that this is a level of resistance or level of support now there are mainly three kinds of support and resistance horizontal level of resistance or support inclined level of resistance or support and dynamic level of resistance or support so dynamic level of support or resistance can be a moving average or can be a parabolic or circular shape of resistance or support now to trade a support or resistance you need to first try to predict either this support or resistance will be held or will be broken now if you see that to predict a breakout you need to you need two key factors the first key factor is the major direction of the trend which where this the major trend is another factor is if it is creating a higher low on a level of resistance or a lower high on a level of support if you see these two key points is with you then you can say that this level of resistance or support might be broken now to trade a breakout you need to wait for a retest of the level of support or resistance as a resistance as a support or support as a resistance now to predict uh, a support or resistance will be held you need to see the price action pattern how this is re this reacting with the resistance or with the support now these are the summary that we have so far learned let's jump on to the real chart how we can understand what we have learned so far okay guys so let's see this example first on UJPY to know the horizontal level of support or resistance so if you see that there has been a long consolidation in this zone and in this consolidation how we see the market structure is formed is like this so this is the level that has been respected the price came here and then what happened came back down here again went there created a level of resistance that means the price bounced from this level came back to this zone again again went there again the price re rejected from the same level so creating a level of resistance every time the price is going there rejecting to the downside now after this second point that we you can draw a level of resistance so this is the level of resistance now on the third time when the price came here now this is the question that either you will predict this instrument to break to the upside or you will predict that this instrument will break to the downside now first of all see there is a false breakout so the price basically broke this level went up and on the lower time frame what you will see that immediately came back below so this is the first thing that it has created a false breakout secondly what it has done basically it has created a double top you see that there is a green candle red candle green candle red candle so if you draw all this connect all this candle what you see a double top so on a level of resistance it has created a false breakout and created a double top formation that means that it has created a reversal on the level of resistance that's where you can say that this resistance will be holding and you will take a short trade from this area keeping your stop loss above the false breakout and at least one to two or one to three risk to reward ratio now that's how you can predict a horizontal level of support or resistance or any kind of level of support or resistance now let's see the example of how to predict a breakout so let's see this example for a resistance breakout now what you are seeing that the price created a level of resistance every time the price is coming here rejected to the downside creating a level of resistance now finally what you see the price is coming to the support and creating a higher low so what finally is doing the basically the price is moving in this direction to put a pressure on this level of resistance and finally broke to the upside now to see as i told you two key points to predict a breakout is the first key point as i told you is major direction of the trend now look at the trend direction what you see that is clearly seen that the direction of the trend is to the upside this is the first condition another one is every time the price is creating a higher low 
creating something like this kind of structure these two key points will tell you that which way this this resistance or support will break out now remember this is not a confirmation trading is all about probability do not take what i say as like a science or a maths that one plus one equal to two there will be always deviation there will be always variation this is all about probability now what happened after this breakout see this after this breakout the price went well above finally came here to test this resistance as a support and that is where you have to patiently wait for a retest of this resistance as a support and then you can think of trading so if you trade say after this candle is also at least one to four or more risk to reward ratio and that's how traders make money now at the same time we can show you that this blue line you see that this blue line is basically a 20 period moving average now this blue line is acting as a dynamic support in this uptrending market now how do you know look at this here what happened the price came here see they just touch this here every time the price coming to this moving average the price is rejecting to the upside except a few areas but most of the time what you see the price is coming to these areas and rejecting to the upside so this moving average can act as an important dynamic level of support for this uptrending market and at the same time it is creating a dynamic resistance for a downtrending market see when the price started to move down what you see that whenever the price is moving away from this 20 period moving average immediately the price is coming back again for the uptrending this 20 period is acting as a dynamic support so 20 period moving average is very very confluent i'll create a separate video on it i'll link it here you can watch that okay so let's see this example here what you see that the, look at this here the price is creating a level of support here support here support here support here and the price is moving along this line so this is basically a trend line now how this inclined level of support is reacting so when you see that once twice the price is bouncing from here you can draw this line and then wait for the price to come here to see how it is reacting now as soon as the price will be reaching to this inclined level of support what you will be doing waiting for a price section confirmation remember do not trade blindly now what happens say for example you saw that the price bounced from here came back here again bounce from here now you think that the price will go up again you put it in your watch list and when the price created here created this red candle after this what happened it has created a strong textbook bullish engulfer so when you see this green bullish engulfer what you found the confirmation on the price action you saw that level of support and there is a bullish engulfer at that point you can trade from here with a, at least one to two or more risk to reward ratio and that's how you can trade with high risk to reward ratio i sincerely believe that this video was really really helpful to you if you have any question leave a comment below i will answer straight away thank you for watching see you soon in my any other video Okay guys, so let's see this example for a dynamic level of support and resistance. So this is the, this is USD CNHS on the daily time frame. Now look at this market structure here. This is a perfect example of a circular or parabolic dynamic support or resistance. So this is the, if you see that the price is coming and respecting this level very, very nicely and finally broke to the downside so you see that there is a resistance here resistance here resistance here and it is not a straight or even not respected by a moving average but respected by a curved line so that's what you need to identify the dynamic level of support or resistance now if you see that it creates a shape like this and what you see the major direction of the trend is down and prices 
creating a parabolic shape with a lower high that you can predict that this instrument will finally break to the downside and that is what happened now these are the ways you can identify trade properly major level of support or resistance now i sincerely believe this this video was helpful to you now if you find value in this video then smash the like button for me and also drop a comment below if you have any question i will definitely answer any question you have thank you for watching see you soon with another video